My name is Erin Bradley. I'm a teacher at Brian Evan Primary School, which is a school in Johannesburg, South Africa. For the last two years, we've been using Purple Mash to teach coding at school. And this is a video about using switches, on-off switches. We need to know where to find the relevant work. The first thing you need to do when logging is, is to find out which work the teacher has set for you. So you need to access that work. You need to get to it. We go to the red clipboard button, which is called the to-do section. It's over here, and that is the first place you go to when you get into Purple Mash. Always check to see if there's any work to be done. Click on the to-do button, and that's the click event. And we're going to open the to-do to see the list of tasks which can be done. And they're all blue here, saying that they are all still relevant. I'm typing in grade three because I want to get to all the grade three tasks. I'm doing what's called a filter. There you go. You can see we got a switching background task. So we're going to have a look at a switch. We'll turn it on and off by pressing this red button over here. You're also going to learn about variables, which is something I haven't really covered very much. We are going to get our computer to remember a number for a short period of time while we just use it. So that's called a variable. A little bit of information that's remembered by the computer. Now I want to show you how you're going to access. I'm going to open it over here because you're going to use it as a to-do, but I want to open it just to show you how this is done. So there we go. I've opened it up. I want to go through all of the challenges with you, and hopefully you'll be able to see how they build up and eventually allow you to get to that point where you can do it all by yourself. There you go, we have the instructions. Create a variable to remember whether the switch is on or off. Now we're going to use a variable to show on or off, and it's going to be a number variable. We're going to use a zero and one, and many of you will know that zeros and ones are linked up to computers. When you get a bit older, we'll explain how that happens. But some of you might already know that zero is off and one is on. We're going to have to show the computer when to become a zero or off or when to turn to be a one to be on. So we're going to be using a variable. And that's very, very important. A variable is going to determine when to go on, when to go off. We're going to need to code in when it'll become zero and when it's going to become a one. So our computer needs to remember the appropriate moments when to switch from zero to one. Or maybe it'll become a one to a zero. So we need to know when that switch will change from one to the other. It needs to remember that. So it's going to be turning on and off. We could have got our computer to remember someone's name. But in this case, we're going to ask it to remember a zero or a one, on or off switches. And there you see it says create variable. So I want to just zoom in. Now you remember how I did that? Hold down control and turn the wheel of your mouse. And I'm going to create a variable. So you can turn that wheel while holding down control. And you can see I have the two different types of variables. A string, and that would be somebody's name, like Milad, Andrew, or anything would be a string. You can see it's showing alphabetical there. And then you can see a number. We're choosing a number, because remember, we want 0 or 1. And this is not a very good name here, my number one. What is this? An on-off switch. So I'm going to try to name my variable more appropriately. So on-off switch, because we know we're going to be turning it on and off. So we are creating an on-off switch. And we're going to start off with it being off. And off is a zero. Now, as soon as I press the play button, we'll go into play mode. And it's going to then assign the variable. So watch if I press this button. If you look down at the variable watch, that's this little panel over here and you can see on off switch is assigned with a zero. Naught. On off switch is naught. The on off switch was assigned when I pressed on the play button. So as soon as I press that play button, the assigned variable was designated. There it is. I clicked on that to open it, and you can see on off switch is zero. So if I typed in any other number, as soon as I pressed the play button, it would have assigned the variable to whatever number I had put in there. When you get to start doing very complicated coding, this little variable watch is going to become very important. So as soon as we go into play mode, we are with off. 
a zero. We move on into the next challenge, and we could watch that video. In the coded window over here, we've got create number on off switch, so it's going to by default create that variable. Let's zoom in by holding control and turning that wheel again to zoom in and look a bit better here. So I'm going to hold down control, turn my wheel, and we'll have a look at this when click event. That's going to turn it on or off. So we're going to use the when click event. So we're going to drag this into the coding window, and there's our switch. That red button over there, and you can see that symbol that often shows on and off on machines. When you see that symbol, it's usually indicating that that's the on-off switch. And now we need to deal with some logic by bringing the if-else selection. Now this means that if the switch is on, then the lights will go on, or else it'll go off. So on or off, if or else means basically on or off. And our variable is going to help us to keep track of whether it's a one for on or it's a zero for an off. Do you see it showing us the on-off switch? So if the on-off switch equals zero, then we'll do whatever is necessary to put, maybe turn the lights on. Or else, if the lights are already on, then we do the else part. So you can see it does either one thing or another thing. So the if else comes, this if else condition becomes very important and we'll just fill that in the in off switch in off switch equals zero if it's off then we'll have all the code going in this little yellow block over there will show us what's going to happen when it's off so obviously that'll be turning it on and then the else part will be if it's on it must turn it off so it's almost opposite to each other i hope you can get to understand this especially that you're grade threes we are basically telling the switch what to do in this if else condition in this if else selection at one that yellow little bit over there is going to say if it's off do this and then if it's on do that in that yellow section in the else part of the if else condition so we're switching between one thing and another pressing play will take me on to the next challenge and we're going to actually put all the little bits of code into that if else statement so look over here if you read this it says if the variable is equal to zero change the background to white aha that's almost like the light going on it becomes more bright so white is a brighter color than obviously black and we already know that the first part of that if statement is going to be the if it's equal to zero so we're going to bring in the changing of the background to white and also switching the variable to a one which means it is now on because it's turned the switch on now remember i did indicate to you if i press on this button the play button then straight away the switch is going to be on no off it means that the switch will be off because it'll be in play mode and that's by default what it's going to be zero but, and then we're going to go to this part over here and we're going to change it to be on so that's going to be where, if it's zero, it's going to then become a one. So let's bring that in. Change variable. We know it's called on off switch, and we're going to set it to now on. What is one? On. And then we're going to bring in the background change, and we're going to look over here. It says background to white. So we bring that in. Background to B has to be set to white. So you've got to look for the white, and there it is. We would choose white. You've got to be a bit careful because on some computers, it's not too clear to see it. And I'm a bit colorblind, so I struggle to see colors. But there we go. White with a sign that it's now on. And that seems very logical that white be associated with on. Because to be a good coder, a lot of things have got to make a lot of sense. So you've got to kind of play it out in your head and you've got to kind of think about it in a logical way. Everything needs to make sense. That's also a very important part of learning, that when you do things, it must make sense. Like we call it on-off switch, which tells us what the variable is. It's an on and off switch. Some teachers would even agree with me that learning is basically the construction of meaning. It's when you make some sort of sense of the world around you. You try to understand it and you describe it and it becomes
becomes meaningful. So there we got the on off switch assigned to zero. As soon as we go into play mode, it's in zero, it's off. And then only when you click on the button like that, it becomes a background is white and therefore it is now on and we can move on. And as you can see in the next challenge, we've just got these coded blocks and everything's in place as it was before. We've just got a change variable and a background and that's going to fit into the else part of the logic of the if then statement. We've already added on the switching on code, which we're, now we're going to do the switching off code. So we're going to change the variable now to the off part of it. So we got on off switch is the name of our variable. When remember, we've got to give it an appropriate name and try to make it very meaningful. This else part is meaning it's not off. So this is when it's on. It's not off, it is on. So now if it's on, we're going to have to turn it off. And that's why I'm putting a zero there. We have to turn it off. If it's not off, it must be on. And obviously, if it is off, if we're setting it to zero and off, the color is not going to be white. It's going to be its opposite. Just like the zero is the opposite of the one, the white and the black are opposites to each other as well. So we're going to therefore have that. When you get a bit more into computer coding, you're going to start using true, false, yes, no, almost like we're using the on off in this case. And you'll even get to understand what's called binary numbers, which are only a zero and a one in that number system. And you guys might have been introduced to a decimal system. That's the system we use in our mathematics. But there are lots of different number systems, which you'll get to learn about later. So let's press on this button over here and see what happens. So we got this pressing on the button and you can see on my variable watch on off switch is one if I press on it again if I press it now and you can see on my variable watch on off switch is now zero I'm just selecting it for you so we are alternating or toggling between on off when you've gone through all of these you'll get your five stars which will indicate that you've done very well and that's pretty good for grade threes doing this activity and this is one of the reasons why I'm going through it with you but I think I'd be very, very proud to see that you've com accomplished and got through all of this. I'm wondering whether I've just set my sights too high, expecting you to be able to do this. But I think that by watching this and having me show this to you, it'll give you some idea that you can make up for the inadequacies of reading or the complications that you can see as I describe it, you'll get to know. When you finish, just save it, go on the red button, and then press this button over here, save and exit, and then you'll see a little button there saying hand in, and that's what I'd like you to do, just to hand in your work so I can see your brilliance. A big thank you to you guys for watching and also for listening to this. I hope that you're going to be successful in your being able to do this activity. Remember, you're going to save and exit and press the hand in button. And we will be continuing with this in the forthcoming les lesson. So don't worry if you didn't quite understand. Thanks for watching this Brian Evan Primary School lesson. Grade 3 lesson that explores using the on-off switch. We use a 0 and a 1, which are assigned to a variable. This variable needs to be named appropriately. The variable helps us to keep track of when the switch is on or off, and we indicate that the variable should be named appropriately as this assists to make sense of one's code and is a wonderful way of learning. We introduce the if-else condition using the white background to show and the condition of on or off, and the variable is given one or a zero to show the switch from off state to on. My name is Erin Bradley. I'm a teacher at Brian Evan Primary School. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you'll subscribe.